Hello everyone, this is Global Actions United Networks, GUN for short, and you're following our Italy, Emilia Romagna decision 2020. We'll have our final projection for the 2020 Emilia Romagna regional election soon, but before that, we'll have a short introduction. Who? will be the next new 50 faces of the regional council. A major vote, not only on the regional level, also on the national level, is going on in Emilia and Romania now. Stefano Bonaccini's Democratic Party and the center-left coalition stay in charge of power? Or will Lucia Borgonzoni's League and the centre-right coalition takes it with Matteo Salvini. The third contender, Simone Bellini's five-star movement is also hoping to make some gains. Among these three major candidates, who will be the next regional president? The first major clue to solve this problem is uh, final rejection. We'll start the countdown to look at that first major clue. Here goes the countdown. There's our final projection. The final projection indicates that uh, uh, Stefano Bonaccini center left coalition uh, is yeah is ahead. However, the that margin is in the range of error, so that's oh actually too close to call. Yeah, it is too close to call. In the other hand. Five Star Movement is way down at third, who seems to be failing to secure the 10% mark. And looking at our, our final projection again, uh, the headline is that the center left coalition is leading over the center right coalition by around 2 percentage points, even though it is in the range of error. According to our projection, center left coalition is said to be getting 40. 5.63% of the popular vote in the candidate level, not in the party level or the coalition level, but that should be making them the largest group in the next council, regional council. And the center right coalition will have 43.54% of the total valid votes, increasing more than 11 percentage points than five years ago. The five star movement is projected to be only at 7.05% and the other four minor parties will catch 3.78% of the votes. This also means that there is a tight race between the top two coalition candidates for the regional governor, regional president for that, but Stefano, but Stefano Bonaccini, who is um, affiliated to the center-left coalition, is just ahead. Finally, we have the ending board. Thank you all for watching this video until the great end. 
and please subscribe if you are interested on these election contents leave comments below if you have any question and press the like button also share it in references you can join on ghsc.en our website which is linked below for election results the calculation methods for the final projection also could be found below again thank you for watching and i hope to see you back on the other video okay so bye